Delta has some more recalls, and that's not even the scary part. This, well, maybe it is. <laughs> Lost some power while driving. Well, engine won't start. Start, stop, function, engaged. Um, windows, defroster. So there's kind of quite a bit that is going wrong. But the concern I have is that it is a software update that you can't do yourself and it can't be done over the air. You've got to take it into a dealership. So what happens when this car is older and there's a software issue? Are you just going to be tough or can they charge you whatever they want for a software update? Mazda has been increasing in most of the uh, ratings for quality. So this is from Consumer Reports. Overall, Mazda is number seven, score 67. A couple of the models a little higher, a couple of the models a little lower. And that's their average score of the, the vehicles that got checked. So Mazda has improved. All right, that's something else. Mazda has improved, but this over there update, I mean, Tesla maybe has, I, I hate to say like change the market, but I, I would expect updates. Um, use Google or you use an Apple computer and it just, you can just fix it from where you sit. So very concerning that these cars have to be taken in for a software update, at, but they're under warranty. So I would just be concerned about owning a Mazda or maybe any modern car at this point that is older that may need a software update because what do you do? There was one, um, oh, whatever the electric car company that went under was, I forget which one. I don't want to say the wrong name. Um, in any case, they were. There needs to be an update on some of them, and they were charging quite a bit of money. I think it was like eight hundred dollars for a software update, and they weren't guaranteeing it would work. They were saying it could brick your car, and you'd never be able to use it again. But you need the software update, and that's the only place you can get it. So definitely a concern that you've got a car that needs a software update, and it has to go to a car dealership. You've really got to wonder what that's going to be like long term if this is a car that you can hold on to or if you need to uh, trade it as soon as the warranty expires. So Mazda has been looking better with their ranking, but very concerning that you've got to take a car in to get the software updated. All right. Thank you.